What's up everybody? It's me Dylan back again for another brand new video for you guys. I recently told you guys on a live stream because of my foot injury I'm going to be doing some reaction videos and the very first video that I'm actually going to be reacting to is not CJ's video that he dropped at the beginning of this year. It's going to be the last one from last year uh, that you guys were actually asking me questions about during the live stream. So this is CJ Faison's world's most haunted farm is so evil ghost won't stop until it gets its revenge. Uh, I've heard some crazy things here. We're going to probably jump through some of it here and there. Um, but yeah, so let's just go ahead, let's roll this video, let's see what we got going on here. I will give you guys kind of my reaction to what I'm feeling, what I've seen, how I can relate to him. Um, but yeah, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and let's just jump right into this video. CJ face and bringing you all another alone video and you're probably wondering well CJ why are you doing another video alone well I don't have anybody to film with so everybody's going home for the holidays and to be honest with you I don't have plans with my family until tomorrow night so I decided instead of leaving you all off on the last video that I posted as like the last video of the year this will be the last video of 2023 that you will see I hope that you all can enjoy it and respect it and appreciate it because I'm going back to the fall in the last video I don't care what anybody all right so just starting it off, based off the intro, um, obviously we see activity has continued to ramp up at the property. Um, from what CJ told me, this video has crazy activity, kind of like something that none of us have felt or seen yet at that property. Um, but yeah, so just based off that intro, I know his feeling, being there alone, all the stuff's happening around you, you're just so anxious the whole time, you're just anticipating something to happen. Um... But yeah, so anyway, I completely understand where he's coming from. Just based off that intro, clearly Annabelle uh, is going to probably play a pretty big part here. Like I said, I do think that the spirits are still a little bit angry and upset by the fact that we got rid of the other doll. And then we brought Annabelle in. So uh, I definitely think that that's possibly something that's going to be a recurrent theme here. Um, but anyway, let's just continue watching this video and let's see what happens to CJ throughout the rest of this. He says, that was one of the scariest moments for me ever. I'm alone, I'm in the attic, the door slams shut, I got this weird-ass Annabelle doll who's uglier than hell right here in front of me. I don't know if she's doing God, it or if he's like some other level of spirit. That. I don't know. It's besides Spirits the point. But tonight kill. I'm going there and I'm going to press my luck again. I'm going to see just how far I can push things for all of you and for me. Hopefully we get something great on camera. If not, then I just wasted my breath in a night that I could have been spending with my family. So without further ado, I love y'all so much. Hey, listen, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. It's going to be a big deal when we hit it. So without further ado, Try I have to, to uh, that, man. Oh, He's been gloves. busting his I'm ass to try to get there. I'm inside of my house and I'm going to put on a beat. So in the next clip, we have gloves and beanie on. Okie dokie. Let me lock the truck. Alright, and we're back for another video, folks. <laughs> I really don't know why in the hell I put myself through this, but you know, here we God, are. Just like seeing when that. I say property, we are talking about all of you on the, you can just the great old feel YouTube. The anxiety and the, and tension that you feel this idiot right there. here just continues to come back to. It's like, I can house, just so. feel it. Um, I can feel the fear I had the last time I was there before. So, it literally broke my foot. Like, I can just feel it. You just get so nervous. And, mm, God, I hate that feeling so much. On a real note, I hate, 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 hate. Uh-oh. What happened? Uh, never mind. I hate being alone. I really do. But so many of y'all are like, oh, CJ, we love when you're alone. I'm sure you do. Yeah, you guys you absolutely love kill to see us someone else when alone. we talk about like, being yeah, alone. Just, I don't know. I hate it. I really do. We'll FaceTime Chris really quick and be like, yo, buddy, where you at? He's filming somewhere up in New York tonight. I do know that. Uh, my man's home for the holidays. Yo, dude, what's up? 
Hey, I'm at the farm alone. <laughs> yeah, I am, bro. Oh, you're such an idiot. Where are you at? Let me see. That's how we all feel. Uh, I'm at a gas station right now, actually. I'm about to go film, actually. That looks... I wish you were jazz and You're with jazz and Oh, yo, what up? Hey. It's the boys. <laughs> I'm freezing my dick off in Delaware. It's got to be cold up there. Oh, bro, it's fucking cold as shit. <laughs> Jeez, y'all got to come film this fucking place, dude. Get out with Chris. Honestly, after New Year's, I'm free, so let's make it happen. All right. That works, man. All right, brother. We'll make it happen. Hey, you, yeah, you good luck tonight, guys, boys. See what they get. Yo, you're cool. What, what, kind of there's no one there with you? No, fuck no. I'm here alone again. Everyone's like, oh, CJ, we want you to go back alone. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, everyone's away for Christmas, so I'm like, tonight might be the night to make that happen. So, honestly... When I was in my driveway, I was like doing an intro, and as soon as I was done, I was like, so man, we're gonna skip forward that couch just a little bit. So I feel this right though. So I can relate that we all think about going home. Yeah, I'm gonna oh, forward you watching? Bit. I literally think because mentally I'm like, all of you are with me, but when I put the flashlight around, y'all aren't here. So, Facts. listen, it's my job to give you all the content that you want, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to piss some shit off. So let's do it first thing. Let's just he always has to do this. Always. Time to wake up. That's what he gets. That's what he gets. Every damn time he always does that. I don't know if y'all could hear that. Why? Why? I'm coming in. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. When he decides to ramp shit up like that, and he's like, I'm coming in, and all this. It's like, they already know we're coming in, but why do you have to antagonize them? Like, they're already going to be pissed off, and now we're really going to piss them off. And I get it. It's what he likes to do. He gets really good response that way. I can't do that. Like, that shit makes me so nervous in my core that I don't think I could ever, 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 ever do that. <laughs> That's why. Case in point. <laughs> oh, for f sake. Case in point right there. <sighs> Fuck. Anyway, I feel right, that. Well, let's Let go me inside. jump into where we're inside for here a little bit. Turn that light off. Oh gosh, it got dark. Like, look, look that thing has got just like... I'm possessed and gonna ruin your life all over it. And yeah, you know, honestly, crazy. if I woke up and that thing was like hovering above me, I would shit a brick sideways so, at that point. They kind of give you guys a little bit of like a fill in of what I feel when I go in. As soon as I walk in this area and I walk into that kitchen area, instant anxiety. I just feel like claustrophobic, like everybody's looking at me. Um, I know CJ sometimes creep down there, feels like he's being watched. We always hear noises when we're in there, but like you said, every single time, whether I'm alone, I'm with Chris, I'm with CJ, I feel like all eyes are on me. I feel like something wants me to go down in that basement. Case in point, why I did in the last time when I broke my foot, which you guys haven't seen that footage. Um, I don't know if I'll ever release that because it's literally not much entertaining. You just see the camera grow up in the air and hear me grunting in pain. But anyway... I always feel like something was luring me to that basement and the kitchen area is like where everybody's like gathering, waiting. They're like watching, kind of challenging you to go and face whatever's in that basement with the portal. Like, yep, I'm out of here selling this house. So anyway, spirits, your favorite asshole's back. So if y'all want to do anything, now's your chance. Here we go. And uh, <laughs> really wish it would be a halfway normal night. So, ew, I've never noticed that. That's sticky. What is that? I've never noticed that either. What the hell is I'm that? I'm being honest, guys. I don't know what that is. All right, honestly, I don't know if y'all, if somebody doesn't mind, go back in some of these videos and see if that stuff's there because I, I, I honestly I have never noticed that until now, so. I don't really remember that either. Oh, man. So the big. And then this is after I broke my foot. So I did move the Annabelle doll. So before you guys were like, where's the Annabelle doll? Anything like this, I did move that. 
because me and Chris have been trying to move it to different points on the property, see if we get the more activity, see, uh, let the animal doll see a little bit more, see spirits are a little bit more, like, invested in that doll. Um, but anyway, let's just continue watching this. Basement, I heard, was flooded, and it sure is still. Like, if we were to go down here, oh yeah, water everywhere. Good gosh. All right, it's cool no one living up under the house. That basement. So just to kind of like preempt some of this basement feeling and all, like we've kind of talked about a little bit, like it's weird. Sometimes you go through spells, you'll go hot and cold down there where with the activity in that regard. Um, so sometimes I'll go down there and I will feel like there's a million spirits nearby and I will hear a bunch of different noises and I'll get some really good spirit talker sessions. But then sometimes I'll go down there and it's like things are traveling through the portal and quickly going to different points of the house and they want us to go find these other points in the house rather than to focus on the basement. Um, but I definitely do believe that something dark and evil, I would say, I guess probably the word evil because of everything that we've kind of seen as it goes on. Um, I think it definitely has something to do with the attic and the basement. Those are the two hot spots, in my opinion, that I think the most activity seems to be happening. That seems the most demonic, in a sense, the most evil. Um, but yeah, definitely those two spots. The basement, like I said, that's where I got tripped up. Uh, we've had some weird activity down there. We've gotten some of the most darkest Esther sessions down there. Uh, and then the attic, as you guys have seen, there's crazy stuff that happens up there. Stuff falling all the time, randomly up there, doors shutting everything that you guys see always happens either upstairs or downstairs we do get activity throughout the rest of the house but the most common hot spots are usually downstairs in the basement upstairs in the attic and then the kitchen so those are the three that if you guys do go and book the location i do recommend that you guys go and check out because those spots are where we're seeming to get the most activity and the most solid answers right now that's good news yeah yikes oh wow it's like a lot Jeez. So it was not flooded when I went there and I fell. Well, not really fell, but got tripped up and all this. I just say fall because I can't confirm nor deny that something actually grabbed my ankle. Um, so that actually happened just a couple days after I left. So I don't really know. Like, obviously, we got a lot of rain, so that's what flooded it and all this. But I don't really know why it happened so quickly afterwards. Probably just coincidence, but I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> no basement filming tonight, thank goodness. One less thing I gotta worry with. All right. All right there, spirits, it's time for you to come out and play. My heart's like just racing, anticipating what can happen in this house. Because I just know some of the crazy stuff that we've had happen. All right. Annabelle, I'm coming up. Where the f*** is Annabelle? So, at this point, when CJ goes up there, he didn't realize that I had moved to Annabelle recently from when Chris did. So, um... Yeah, that's why it's not in that location. That's why he said, where is the Annabelle doll? Because um, I felt like it needed to go see somewhere else. And we haven't really done a lot with that shed with the hole in the ground. So I really went to see if activity would happen. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to investigate that because of my whole foot incident. But I will go back. I will try to get that once I'm all healed up. See what, what kind of activity might be happening out there now that she's been out there. Stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I'm going to skip forward ahead a little bit here. Um, as you can see, they did clean up a little bit more, like, previously afterwards. So those wood crutches that everybody said was kind of foreshadowing something bad was going to happen to me, uh, those are no longer, like, visible out there. I think they got moved to somewhere else in the house. So, so we skipped ahead a little bit here, too, when he's still investigating upstairs. Uh. What the? What the? What was that? Hello? Hello? 
Doors locked. What the actual fuck was that? What the fuck? Okay, hang on a second here, y'all. My tripod screw me up, so hang on. What the actual hell? Look at that. Yeah. That so. was not there before. All right, so that is crazy. Um, like we've kind of talked about before, the books and all that that are down there, we've actually caught them getting thrown across the room and a lot of stuff getting thrown down those steps. Um, whatever it is, is very forceful to be able to move things and throw things like that. Uh, the whole jelly bean jar, that has been in that one bedroom for so long. So something had to physically move that and throw it down those steps. Um, that is actually crazy. Um, I don't really know what... It, what to think can do that but this isn't the first time nor the last time that we're probably going to catch something going down the steps um we've seen so many different things just either fall down the steps that we caught on camera that randomly while we're just standing still we've seen things that have literally been thrown across rooms so something is very very powerful and strong inside this house and it really wants to get everybody's attention to let them know that it's here so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and just keep playing here for a little bit What? Unless it fell out up here, like... Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking it was up here in this. As you all know, we found that big canister with that map, that penny. So I don't know if it fell out of there and fell straight down, but that was loud. That had to have been it. I mean, there's glass clearly right there. So I'm guessing that's got to be it. Oh my gosh. We would clearly know if someone was down here because like, so where I wet my boot, like when I touch my boot in the water, there's my boot print every other step all the way up. So I, I'm not, that's not human that's doing that. That is like either the luckiest catch on earth getting that on camera or not on camera, but hearing that, if that was up in that thing, I don't know where the hell that, that would have been because we cleared that out really, really well. Like you all have watched those videos, like so just. Okay, so where the fuck is Annabelle? I can kind of give you guys a sense of probably what CJ's feeling there. I can't obviously speak for him, but I know in my situation, um, in that situation, once things start to ramp up like that and you catch something crazy like that, all of a sudden your anxiety is at an all time high. Uh, you're heavy breathing. You're trying to catch your breath. You're trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Where can I go next? Um, yeah, it's a little bit terrifying because obviously you can't see it. You don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I can definitely hearing his tone from knowing him for so long the fear that he's starting to feel and rightfully so you're there alone all this stuff's happening you're already at a property that in our opinion is probably more haunted than a honeycut farm um yeah so i can completely understand what he's going through right there i know my anxiety be high i'd already be on edge um i would try to figure out obviously answers like i'm sure he's going to try to do um but yeah like that anxiety you feel is unreal like when you guys go to this property alone, like I said, you will understand. Um, I do recommend trying to book it and investigate it. I do understand that not everybody has the funds to. Completely understandable. Nobody's forced to do anything like this. But if you do get the opportunity to, you'll understand everything that I'm saying. All right. So I skipped ahead here a little bit, guys. Um, we did hear some noises here and there that CJ captured. Uh, the one really loud noise that made him go upstairs, that's very common in this house. Um, you are going to be literally chasing noises back and forth all night long no matter where you are whether guns are in the woods guns are in the shed inside the house you're going to be chasing noises it's always going to happen here it's like they're toying with you they're playing games they want to manipulate you and move you different places um so yeah that's definitely something that's pretty common there so 
we're gonna keep going ahead here i haven't watched any of this part either so like i said i've only watched a little bit at the beginning just to kind of tell where it's going to start what's going to happen um but yeah so anyway let's just jump right into this and continue watching see what happens <laughs> oh, you mother shit asshole bitch how did all scare the shit the out of you there's a fucking candle burning. There's a fucking candle burning. All right, that's weird. That's really weird. So, like I said, we were not in there very long at all. I had placed the animal doll on the bike and all this, and then, uh, like I said, that was a different kind of deal. Like Chris had Annabelle already in there. I put her on the bike. And then where there was no candle out there, there was nothing like this. Um, so that's very weird. I don't know if that's paranormal or if that's a person because we do have that fear that there's a person constantly around there. Um, never captured anybody, but we're just like a little bit paranoid that somebody might be just based off of some of the stuff. Um, but that's very, very weird. I've never seen a candle inside that building ever. Never seen it light. Uh, lit not light jeez i can't talk to that um but yeah so i've never seen that so that's very very weird um it's a good catch by him i don't know if it's paranormal like i said if it's human or what but that is definitely weird if that is you you are the creepiest little sob on planet earth you riding a little Barbie bike and shit looking all ugly with your eyes. I bet your eyes are dry because you don't even blink. Do you? No. <laughs> He's talking Weird. shit to the animal doll. <laughs> I think we all want to talk some shit to the animal doll sometimes. Alright, because... the, the candle legitimately has me like freaked, 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 freaked out right now. Like, yeah, I can I can honestly relate to him there. Uh, the animal doll is creepy. Like, she creeps us out all the time and it's seeming like she gets her mad that she's been brought in. Um, but the candle thing, like I said, I can't explain that. I have no idea. Kudos to him. I've never caught anything like that. I've seen candles blow out on camera. I've caught candles blowing out on camera. I've never seen a random candle lit like that before. And that's what makes me wonder, is it really like what we fear? And there's somebody that's coming in and out of the woods behind the cameras, but there's no real way to because of where we have our cameras positioned. So that's the only thing that's very, very weird to us. So this shed, I personally had not been in at all. So, I don't really know what's in there or anything. I've never investigated over there or anything like this. So, uh, that's something that's a little bit strange and weird to get used to trying to figure out. It's another place on the property that I've been a little bit hesitant to because I don't know what to expect or what to find in there. So, we'll see with CJ's video what happens. bird <laughs> sorry sorry i just disturbed your peace i'm sorry oh my god my fucking uh, life flashed before my eyes Hold. that is iconic the cj scream when he screams like that i know either something scared his ass so good that he's running out of the building or some kind of animal scared him oh my god like that day that i edited the footage of him at old south pittsburgh or wherever it was a sunny that little mouse ran across the roof floor that was one of the funniest clips of my life that I edited. So when you hear that CJ scream, that's just genuine terror. Like, he's always scared, like, obviously when things happen. But, like, that that is, like, he's ready to get the hell out of there. Like, he is not playing around anymore when you hear that scream. What is he doing? What is he doing to Annabelle? All right. Annabelle, you know what we're doing? Oh no. Put you in the casket. Oh no. This casket uh, already goodbye. has like the creepiest feeling. And then he just drops Annabelle in there. Oh no. He's looking to run into some crazy stuff here. Oh uh, man. So we skip forward ahead here again a little bit, guys. Dolls Whisper. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? It just said Doll's Whisper. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What was that? Oh! What the? What? 
the. All right, so I'm gonna pause this right here. So that's crazy. Um, we get a lot, a lot, a lot of spirit answers talking about the dolls. That's what makes me think that there is something definitely up with the dolls inside that property. Um, once again, something getting broken like that, very forceful. Um, I think it's probably pissed off that CJ put Annabelle in the casket. Um, so it's kind of lashing out a little bit. It's showing him that it doesn't want to play around, leave the doll alone. Um, but we never do. We always move the doll around. We always try to get more answers. That's what we do. We want to get more answers. We want to get more story. But there's definitely, definitely, definitely something up with the dolls. It's a good catch by him once again, getting that glass breaking. Um, and then hearing dolls whisper right beforehand, it just confirms that the dolls are probably all communicating with each other because spirits like the dolls. There might be a child spirit that was there or there might be something a little bit more evil saying that it's a child and it's playing games, making us keep going back to the dolls to set us up for whatever its master plan is. Um, very terrifying. If you guys definitely do go, definitely make sure to investigate the dolls. That's probably where we're going to get some really good answers, whether it's after you leave there, before you get in there, whatever. It's always going to mention something about the dolls at least once a night, guaranteed. It usually almost always does. Oh, <laughs> get the fuck out of here right now. Hey, Annabelle, if you're going from here. Okay, you're still in here, you little bitch. Oh, she was going, I'd be no good. What the f Where the hell would that have come from? I'd be no good. Oh, my light. My light is acting weird now. It's green. That happens a lot. You guys have seen that with my light, especially when I was reading the prayers. My light starts flickering a lot. Uh, something is definitely drawing energy from lights at this property. It's very, very powerful, like all right, I said. I'm getting all these notifications. So, okay, so we kind of jumped ahead towards the end of the video here. Um, you guys have seen all CJ's video. If you haven't, make sure to go like, subscribe, watch the full entire video. Um, everybody kept telling me about this still cam footage, so we're going to watch some of the still cam footage back and react to it. Um, I'm glad he set up a still cam in there because that's something that I've been trying to want to do, but I just haven't set it up because these are different issues with my camera stuff like this. So uh, I'm really interested to see what happens here, especially with Annabelle being right there. Um, but yeah, like I said, this room would be getting a lot of activity, so I'm not going to be surprised if he captures something here because this is a very big paranormal hotspot. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and continue watching back this clip and we'll see what happens. That's weird. I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like uh, like somebody kind of flipping pages of a book, um, which probably would not be too far off course of what happens here because we've seen, like I said in my video, a book off of that bookshelf right back there. Um, it actually flew off. You guys captured that right on camera. Um, we see books fly all the time around here. We have books move all the time. So I would not be surprised if that was what that was. Like it was flipping through pages of a book or whatever, or it was like picking up a book and that's what's making noises. Like, I don't know, but I definitely think that might've been something there. I'm not guaranteeing it, but that's definitely kind of what it sounds like to me. Um, personally, that's kind of what I feel it's trying to get our attention on if it wants us to read about that, or if that's just the easiest thing for them to move. Um, but they are always playing with the books in this property. See, and then there it is. I think that was, I'm going to play this clip back really quick. You can see there's a couple orbs that move across the screen before anything happens. So, um, yeah, that looks like I'm going to go back. So right after that happens, we see the orbs. Yeah, so that's definitely a magazine. Um, now that I paused it right there. So like I said, that's probably what those pages ruffling around were that we heard. It's probably trying to find something that it could actually throw and move around. Um, 
something about these books. Something about these books, magazines. I don't know what it is. Like I said, um, if you guys go, maybe you can figure out some more answers about it. When I go back, I'm going to try to read a couple more of these books, stuff like this, see if maybe that ramps up the spirits a little bit more or they can give me some more answers based off of these books. Um, but that's a crazy catch. To capture that moving actually across the room, that's the second time now, maybe even third, that I can think of that we captured an actual book or some type of item move from inside that kitchen. Because um, I had the book. CJ had that vase that literally got thrown right out of the count, uh, cabinet there. And then I got that book moving. And I think they might have even captured more, but I haven't really been up to date with them, unfortunately. So I haven't known about what they've been capturing there. Um, but yeah, that's at least three right off the top of my head that I can think of. So that's crazy. So there's definitely something that is trying to get attention and it's really using this main hub right here as soon as you walk into the kitchen. Uh, that's where we're trying to get everybody going. I think that's because it's the middle point of the house, so then it can dictate which way it wants you to go, top, bottom, wherever. Um, but that's definitely why you feel like everything's watching you because that's probably where they're all congregating and they're all waiting is right there inside that kitchen. That's crazy. That's a good catch by him. It's a really good catch. And then, like I said, you can see all the little orbs move afterwards and stuff like that. So that's kind of crazy. So they're definitely in there. Definitely in that room for sure. That was me just kind of talking a little bit about CJ's video. Um, but overall, just to kind of recap it, um, yeah, crazy stuff like that happens all the time at the property. Um, he got some really, really good evidence on camera. I'm really jealous because sometimes, like I said, we go and nothing gets caught. Like we hear stuff and all this, but we don't have clear evidence. Um, so shout out to him for that. Um, that's crazy. Uh, but it definitely likes us being alone at the house. I don't know why it wants to separate us and bring us all alone, but it definitely does. But anyway yeah so that's a little bit about the property um if you guys want me to react to more videos from cj and chris from the farm comment below let me know i'm also going to be reacting to some other content creators and even videos that you guys send me so make sure to go ahead and follow me on all my social media make sure to like subscribe and make sure to either email me or dm me something that you want me to react to and i will definitely react to it try to break it down to kind of tell you what i'm feeling but anyway yeah so I want to go ahead and end off this video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I'm going to go ahead and find more videos to react to. So anyway, I will catch you guys in the next video.